Hello, this is Steve, Detroit Glass Man on YouTube, and now Stained Glass Man US, also on YouTube. Hey, I want to mention a video right now. Hey, you're seeing a stained glass window. It's got polish on it. See that? It's got polish on here. It's kind of like turtle wax. Without going into showing how I polish, which is like this, so that you get a nice clean window underneath all that. There's actually something underneath there. All that. Well, the reason for this video is I'm putting hangers on here. I'm going to put a hanger on this leaded window so that I can hang this set of three. And what I did is I took my Dremel. This is a Dremel. Where is that Dremel? There it is. <laughs> it's kind of funky when you're using one of these cameras with a side window. And a drill bit. And what I did is I drilled a hole through here. But not just any place. This is heavily soldered in here so that it's pretty good solid. And what you do is solder it in the length of the window, not the top bar. I see so, I've repaired so many windows where people have drilled a hole or soldered to this top piece. Now what's going to happen is eventually, if the window's big, and this one's about 32 inches, so it's a lot of weight, especially with lead, lead's heavy. What's going to happen is it's going to pull this apart and break here. And the whole window can come down, tumbling down. I've repaired many windows where people drilled a hole or soldered banking, especially out here in the open with no solder joint in common, banking on the fact that they thought that that top would hold this whole window. It did for a day or two or a week or a month or maybe even a year. And then later I repaired it because the person didn't realize that in order to do to, to utilize this, any and it can be done, this would be the strongest joint right here or here, but not utilizing this top part. Here would be strong if you took a wire and you soldered it into here and you bent it over and soldered it on the same place on the back. And the reason I'm saying that is because then you've got the strength of the window working for you in that this is the support, the tree trunk, if you will, for this whole window. Not this, just, just a branch. This, see how all these joints? If you want to hold the window up, solder to that. But strengthen this corner, I drilled a hole through it, and what I'm going to do, I haven't soldered one up yet, maybe video two, I'll solder it up, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick something in here that's uniform, and I'm going to bend this around to the other side, and that one over to the top, and then I'm going to solder it once I'm done. And this little loop is going to be strengthened by this copper soldered to this copper. I'll show it in the next video. And the reason I'm going to do that is to strengthen this dude with two of them. It ain't going to come apart. It ain't going to come apart at all. But it's going to be able to hold, suspend, support the weight of this whole window. And it's going to do it really well. And if I ever want to take sell this window, because I've already got the wood to frame this with, I'm just going to cut this right here with a pair of uh, side cutters, what they call side cutters, wire cutters, and just snip that, take it out of the hole, and then I frame it. So I'm not going to solder to this frame in so much as I'm going to solder this copper wire. Isn't that cool? So you can create your own hangers. Just do it so that you're utilizing the support and working with the window. I'm not trying to create your new law of dynamics, your law of gravity, because it's, this window is going to argue with it. It's heavy. And if it says, if I'm going to, and it, what that window says, if you're going to hang your whole hat on this hook right here, I'm going to let you down one day. I mean, it sounds kind of silly, but this is a heavy window because it's lead. And lead is heavier than copper foil. Same window and copper foil would be lighter because lead, like sinkers, like the weights on car wheels, is a lot heavier. So just something to keep in mind. I'll call this one the video A 
and then we'll look at video B where it's soldered where you'll get the idea I'll show both of them so keep in mind this dirty looking window just sitting with polish what I like to do many times is leave the window polished here's what the polish looks like by the way that I utilize stained glass finishing compound I put it in a spray bottle when I apply it I apply it with a brush you've seen some of my other videos apply it with a brush it's going to dry like turtle wax I'll have a window that's with wax on it like this for weeks I've had a couple stay for a month they're in my window so I didn't care but I don't polish them until I'm ready to see them delivered or job done or whatever I like leaving them in this polished state because whether they're there for a day a week or a month when I when I actually take this off and clean it up it's perfect so I like to leave the polish on it because it protects it by the way when you polish it it prevents the window for a limited time sometimes years of oxidation it's very important to polish your windows I believe and it seals the pores I know microscopically there there's pores and it really helps fighting this oxidation process you know what it's like when you when you polish your car rain seems to bounce off and it stays in a pretty good state of being for quite a while hear that chainsaw in the background <laughs> mountain the garage taping this so anyway I hope this is a benefit to you it's a it's a pretty clever way of putting a hook attachment hang around this window without obligating yourself to solder it because when you do solder a window let's see if I've got my picture framing nope I guess we'll do that on the on the next uh, video oh yep here it is because if you have a solder glob on there you're not going to be able to stick your frame on there unless you unless you sand it a lot of stuff mentioned here let's just keep this simple on this video you've seen my other videos and if you haven't go and check them out you'll see what I'm talking about in other videos try to reference videos as I go by the way visit my new website www.dichroicglassman.com d-i-c-h-r-o-i-c glassman.com thanks as always for watching the videos they're free I hope they inspire you, and I hope they uh, give you some ideas. Thanks. Bye-bye.